amazing product. Uh, a couple weeks in, I started feeling just incredible differences. The clarity, the energy throughout the day. Um, I got home at, at five o'clock in the afternoon and I was able to play with the kids. While I've been taking R squared, I've actually had even more energy after my runs. I get done with the run and it's like the energy levels have actually increased. So I'm able to work, I'm very efficient, and I feel like I'm able to do everything better. And there was a big difference in me too. I didn't feel that two o'clock, three o'clock rundown. I'm definitely excited for when it comes out and I can be on it regularly and continue to feel that that energy level and also just that good mood that it brings. Now that I'm taking Age Lock R Squared, I feel like I have more balance in my life. I noticed at first when I was going to yoga, that night and the next day, my muscles were really feeling it. I was having a lot of muscle stiffness. But once I started taking Age Lock R Squared, I did notice a difference in how quickly I felt better and how quickly I could get back to the next yoga class. When I first started taking this product, I was so excited because I noticed the sense of mental clarity that I didn't have before, and it helped me when I was in school focus on what was happening in class or doing my homework, and it lasted throughout the day so I could go to a yoga class and I, I still could maintain that focus. And I'm just so excited to be taking this product. I, can, I can't imagine now that I've started taking it, not taking it. So I'm a lifer. I just wanted to show you how I apply my new skin um, Sunrite Insta Glow Tinted Tanning Gel. I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's go. tell I mean can you tell this is the tan now looks way tan right compared to before so yeah it really does work it's my favorite tanner like I said new skin enterprises is an American multi-level marketing company that develops and sells personal care products and dietary supplements under its new skin and Pharmanex brands New Skin was founded in 1984 in Provo, Utah. The company originated in the United States and began its first foreign operation in Canada in 1990 and has since expanded to China. Today, we are going to be talking about this MLM and some of the controversies that have surrounded it. So. Please grab a snack and a drink and get comfy. Hello everyone, my name is Beth or Queen of Spade. Please do give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and without further ado, let's throw some spade. Upon researching this MLM, I hadn't realized it was actually older than I was. It has been a controversial company in the media since investors began questioning if it was a pyramid scheme in 2014. So let's take a look at what this company has to offer and decide for ourselves. Is New Skin a pyramid scheme or a legit business opportunity? New Skin, discover the best you. So let's take a look at the company. We will look at the history. We will look at what they're doing today. And we will look at how they were created. And of course, the income disclosure statement. Discover the best you. Let's see if it's true. The mission statement. Our mission is to be a force for good throughout the world by empowering people to improve lives with rewarding business opportunities, innovative products, and an enriching 
uplifting culture. The vision statement. Our vision is to become the world's leading business opportunity platform. Don't worry, we are going to take a look at just how big of an opportunity this company is. New Skin sells a little bit of everything. Like many MLMs do, they have a product for everyone in hopes that when their distributors are trying to sell the products and the business opportunity, that there will be some product some product in this big roster of products that the person will want. They make many products available, mainly so that you can find that one that you like. You think it's great for the customers, really, it's just a way for them to ensure that that business opportunity is continuing for them and everyone in their pyramid structure. So, New Skin sells health care, they sell hair care, skin care, they even sell that toothpaste that I'm sure you've seen all over Facebook. Yes, that comes from New Skin. So they have so many products available. Blake Roney, Sandy Tillotson, and Steve Lund decided to build a company that would combine innovative personal care products with ingredients that subscribed to the philosophy of all the good, none of the bad, and a generous business opportunity that would attract high caliber salespeople. And of course, this is according to their website. This is how the company began. It didn't take long for people to discover the difference of New Skin's unique business opportunity and one-of-a-kind products. In fact, the first product order was so popular that it was gone in a matter of hours. People loved the product so much that many even brought their own bottles and jars for the founders to fill with the unique formulas using an ordinary spoon. Since that time, New Skin has demonstrated a distinctively different approach to business. It began with an innovative concept of premium quality products and a uniquely compelling global business opportunity. Combined with the immovable commitment of the distributor leaders, this exceptional business model has shaped the company into a more than $1 billion enterprise that still remains true to its core values. Today, New Skin is differentiated by its ability to demonstrate that they truly have the best people, product, culture, and opportunity in the direct sales, skin care, and wellness industries. As the premier anti-aging company, New Skin sets the standard. So yes, New Skin was founded in Utah, and if you want some more information on why that's important, please do check out my episode of The Manipulation of a Humbot where we discuss that. I do have a whole playlist for that on my channel. And also, the New Skin website is a very interesting place. And they even let you explore the New Skin headquarters, all the campuses, in some kind of like online uh, thing. I, I don't know why they do this. It looks like a brag to me about how much money they've made for their campuses, but maybe that's just me though. I don't know. Anyway, let's just take a little moment to look at some of the controversies that Newskin has had, and then we'll talk about the business opportunity and the disclosure statement. <laughs> 
Newskin's partnership with Stanford University began in April 1999 with the establishment of the New Skin Center for Dermatological Research at Stanford University School of Medicine, which focuses on scientific investigation, dermatology research, product development, patient care, and training. The New Skin Center conducts clinical trials and research involving existing and potential New Skin products, ingredients, and formulas. New Skin told not to use researchers' name. Stanford University has sent a cease and desist letter to New Skin Enterprises Incorporated asking the company to stop using a university researcher's name in its advertising, adding new scrutiny to the skin product maker's business claims and practices. According to a copy of the letter emailed to Reuters, which is the website that we are using right now to read this article from, Stanford geneticist Stuart Kim is listed as a new skin partner in developing its age lock anti-aging products, though he has nothing to do with the company. New Skin touts its skin creams and pills as using innovative technology to reset genes that promote a more youthful look and feel for its clients, according to its website. Neither Dr. Kim nor Stanford is a New Skin partner, and neither has anything to do with the company, states the letter, signed by Stephen Rosen from Stanford's Office of the General Counsel. Stanford asks New Skin to remove all references to Kim from its website by Friday. Kim told us he had previously collaborated with New Skin but stopped the relationship in 2011 and that he had never received any money from the company. So Newskin never had permission to use Dr. Kim or Stanford as Newskin partners on their websites. They were sent a cease and desist letter to take it down and they have since taken it down, apparently, except I found this, so just saying, new skin investigating death of Chinese woman who relied on supplements and refused medical treatment, and this is from April 2019, and it is also the main reason why I am against pseudoscience and holistic medicine if it is replacing modern medicine. Do not ever rely on supplements or any of these products, especially if you're going to refuse medical treatment with them. The deceased, surnamed Lynn, died from organ failure caused by a severe lung infection on March 2nd. Prior to her death, she had been suffering from flu and fever for days. She was also a seller of New Skin's products. Chinese media reports claim she relied on her mentor's advice and insisted on consuming supplements and fruit juice instead of receiving medical care. In a statement, New Skin China said that the firm had formed a focus group led by the firm's China CEO to look into the matter. On March 20th, it also appointed its deputy CEO from the marketing department to meet the deceased's family members. And that is so sad to me. 
I am so sorry for this woman, her family, her friends, anyone that this affected. It's an awful story. According to the firm's internal investigation, the seller involved in the saga had violated the firm's regulations and their contract has been terminated. The deceased's family also has plans to file a police report and a complaint to the country's administration for industry and commerce on grounds of false promotion. The lawyer representing the family also said that the family might even leave for the U.S. to sue the U.S.-based New Skin. Mainland China is New Skin's biggest market, accounting for about a third of the company's overall revenue. Sales in the country also rose more than 21% in fiscal year 2018, although it had slowed down in the fourth quarter. It acquired the direct selling license in China in the year 2006. With 25 branches, got so many, throughout China, it is approved to conduct direct selling in 225 areas within China. It also has 228 direct selling trainers, according to information on China's Ministry of Commerce website. And the thing is, China has become a huge market for MLM companies, especially companies such as New Skin, Herbalife, the supplement, holistic medicine, pseudoscience companies, because unfortunately, holistic and Chinese medicine, of course, are practiced very big in China. And so because of that, these companies use that and then sell their products based on you know, the holistic medicine that China uses. And that's why these companies do so well there. And that's also why they wanted to ensure they could have their market there. Supplement as cure. It has become a habit for the deceased to only rely on New Skin's G3 Super Fruit Blend and related supplements whenever she fell sick. Her family members told local media. It was also revealed that the deceased's daily breakfast consisted of 16 gel capsules and two chassets of solid beverage. According to New Skin's website, the G3 Superfruit Blend was developed with GAC fruit and three other super fruits, namely the Chinese Lysium, Siberian Pineapple, and Silly Fruit. The benefits stated include promoting eye health, supporting immune function, and providing body antioxidant protection. The recommended dosage is 30 to 90 milliliters along with breakfast and dinner. And that is an awful way to go about your day with your meal plan. New Skin U.S. firm gets a $540,000 China fine. U.S. skincare and nutrition firm New Skin Enterprises has been fined $540,000 by Chinese regulators. It has been accused of selling products illegally and making product claims that it could not verify. The firm said that six of its employees in China were also fined $241,000 for unauthorized promotional activities. I'm not surprised. However, the fine was less than what many analysts have been expecting and the firm's shares rose nearly 20% in New York on Monday. The firm said the fine over illegal product sales was levied due to the sale of certain products 
by individual direct sellers that, while permitted for sale in New Skin China's retail stores, were not registered for the direct selling channel. The fines come after an investigation into the firm's practices in China. The inquiry was triggered by a report in the state-run People's Daily newspaper, which claimed that New Skin operated a suspected illegal pyramid scheme in the country and brainwashed staff. Pyramid schemes refer to businesses that make money from recruiting new distributors rather than by sales to actual customers. The firm has denied these allegations. Of course they have. On Monday, the company issued a statement saying that it was already taking steps to correct the issues raised by China's state administration for industry and commerce. The regulator that conducted the review. It added that it was not aware of any other material enforcement investigations currently pending in China. We continue to believe in the potential of China's large and growing market, said Dan Shard, president of global sales and operations at New Skin. We remain committed to working cooperatively with the Chinese government to ensure the healthy long-term growth of our business. Yeah, not of anyone taking the products or the people that are working for you, though. Judge approves new skin lawsuit settlement. A federal court last week preliminarily approved a settlement agreement to resolve a derivative lawsuit that was filed on behalf of New Skin Enterprises Incorporated. The lawsuit, which merged a number of shareholder derivative actions, alleged New Skin's officers and directors breached their fiduciary duties in connection with a pyramid scheme in China. Under the agreement, which is subject to final approval in the U.S. District Court for the District of Utah, New Skin must adopt certain corporate governance measures and pay approximately $1.28 million U.S. in plaintiffs' attorney fees and expenses, a July 27th regulatory filing disclosed. The company noted its insurers will cover about $1 million of the plaintiff's attorney fees and expenses. New Skin is a multi-level marketer, MLM, of personal care products and nutritional supplements with 2015 revenues of $2.25 billion. The settlement agreement resolved allegations that New Skin's officers and directors allowed the company to operate as an unlawful pyramid scheme in China. In 2014, the Chinese government announced that it was investigating the company's business practices. The company later revealed receiving government fines for selling products that were not registered for the direct selling channel and making product claims that purportedly didn't have adequate documentary support. Attorneys representing the plaintiffs and defendants in the derivative lawsuit did not immediately respond Monday to requests for comment. The company said it was pleased to resolve the issue. We believe the settlement agreement is in the best interest of the company's stakeholders as it avoids potentially lengthy, costly, distracting, and time-consuming litigation, a New Skin spokesperson said in an emailed statement. The settlement is not an admission of wrongdoing by New Skin or its directors or officers. Of course not. New Skin remains committed to protecting consumers and driving long-term value for shareholders and will continue to take the necessary steps to achieve this important objective. While New Skin's officers and directors have denied any wrongdoing in the complaint, its business abroad has suffered in the wake of the Chinese government's investigations. Revenues in Greater China have decreased from $1.36 billion in 2013 
to $948.5 million in 2014 to $776.1 million in 2015. Well, that's the best news I've read all day. Federal Judge Jill Parrish has scheduled a hearing for October 6th to rule whether to grant final approval of the settlement agreement. She is the same judge who granted preliminary approval on May 24th to a settlement in a class action lawsuit filed against New Skin. A final hearing is scheduled for October 5th on plaintiff's request for final approval of the agreement. In both cases, Parrish must find the agreements are adequate, fair, and reasonable. In the class action complaint, New Skin has agreed to pay $47 million to resolve allegations that the company operated a pyramid scheme in China violating federal securities laws. The Provo, Utah-based company has argued that it was in compliance with China's laws and regulations. Of course it did. Defendants have consistently pointed out that after the Chinese government concluded its investigation, it found that New Skin did not violate China's MLM laws or other laws regarding the company's compensation structure and would have argued that the Chinese government's decision on this application of Chinese law to the company's operations in China should be determinative. Plaintiff's counsel acknowledged in court documents. As part of the agreement to settle the derivative lawsuit, New Skin must implement a number of corporate governance reforms, some of which include the following. Within 30 days after the agreement's effective date, the company must appoint an international compliance officer for each of New Skin's Asia, Americas, and EMEA, Europe, Middle East, and Africa regions. Employment of the officers must be approved by the board of directors nominating and corporate governance committee. Within 18 months of approval of the settlement, New Skin's board must add one new independent director who has prior experience serving as a director of a publicly listed company and or prior experience with business in Greater China. New Skin will modify its insider trading policy to specify a statement of zero tolerance and through an amendment of its code of conduct, the company must adopt a policy that permits New Skin to discipline or penalize those directors, officers, managers, or employees responsible for any violation of foreign law. Now, this was all back 2016, and I believe that they did follow everything listed here, as I could not find any newer lawsuits or updates to this. I can't even find out if they are still paying it back, so if you know, please do let me know down in the comments. And if you know anything else about New Skin, let me know down in the comments. I will, of course, leave links to all of this in the description down below. Now, let's continue. So, after all of that, why should you join New Skin? According to them, of course. 27 year track record of successful partnership, over 16.5 million commission payments made, nearly 8.0 billion dollars in commissions paid. Why do they put the zero? That bugs me. Over 1.0 billion dollars in innovation investments, anti-aging innovation, business innovation, 
publicly traded on NYSE NSNUS symbol, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Transparent Operations Experience Support Team. So, this is why they say you should join New Skin Enterprises. But let's just take a little look at the income disclosure statement. I have a feeling it will tell us why you shouldn't join even more. This here is the 2018 Income Disclosure Statement for New Skin. Now, funny thing, when I was reading about New Skin, they claimed that they only had a couple of levels in the company. However, when I found this, as you can see, there are several titles here. We have Active Distributor, Receiving Commissions, Qualifying Executive, Provisional Executive, Executive, Gold Executive, Lapis Executive, Ruby Executive, Emerald Executive, Diamond Executive, and Blue Diamond Executive. Of course, your typical MLM titles. As you can see, the monthly average commission is $36 for your active distributor, which is, of course, most of the company. You will see in the average percentage of active distributors, it's 6.88%, which, as you look down the list there, you can see is most of their company. The next large average percentage, I guess you could say, would be qualifying executive. And they made $124 a month, which means in an entire year, they're making $1,488. That is 2.08% of the company. Now, the next larger one, for some reason, ends up being executive. They make $481 a month, which, of course, is four titles up. However, not a lot of money, since annually, that's only almost $6,000 a year. Nobody can live on that. Average percentage is 3.56%, and it says that the average percentage of executive and above level distributors is 58.41%. So that just gives you an example. It says here that the most that you can make as a Blue Diamond executive happens to be $519,576 a month, which is a really decent livable wage. I mean, you're living pretty good as this as a full-time job once you get to Emerald Executive. However, as we all know, in order to get there, it is nearly impossible and not even 1% of people in the company actually obtain this title, any of them. Therefore, hardly anyone's making this. It's literally 0.18% for Blue Diamond Executive. So, as you can see, being in New Skin as a distributor is not really something that pays well. It isn't as they advertise, and therefore, you know, just take what you will from this information. In my personal opinion, I don't think that anyone out there should join New Skin because they also don't do science. They think we do science, but they don't. So finally, let's take a look at the apparent science behind the company. Scientific credibility. A world-renowned scientific advisory board representing top research and learning institutions around the globe, along with our scientific management team of PhD scientists. 
led our team of over 75 in-house scientists to come together to propel our research forward into new frontiers. We lead with science. At NewSkin, our product innovation begins with scientific insights backed by a quality process that we call our 6S quality process. Our scientists span a broad range of scientific disciplines, allowing us to foster limitless new avenues of inquiry and innovation. Their expertise gives us unprecedented opportunities to develop and deliver proprietary, cutting-edge products that help improve lives. Our team of in-house scientists, located in two global research centers with state-of-the-art labs, including formulation, stability, microbiology, clinical and chemistry labs demonstrate our commitment to research and development. Breakthrough Genetic Approach New Skin's proprietary anti-aging science is based on exclusive access to more than 30 years of anti-aging and gene expression research. Acquiring LifeGen Technologies gave us exclusive ownership of the largest anti-aging gene expression database of its kind, which has led our science to go beyond the symptoms of aging to target the sources of aging. These discoveries have yielded worldwide media attention with numerous patents, posters, presentations, and published articles. New Skin's anti-aging science is not dependent on any single discovery or scientific paper. Instead, our New Skin research and development scientists have incorporated key learnings from leading genetic researchers and anti-aging specialists. Throughout the development of New Skin's anti-aging science, a number of patents have been licensed in or filled to further protect the proprietary information and technology we utilize. Scientific Studies we are revolutionizing the industry with products that offer comprehensive anti-aging solutions. Our proprietary product formulations and technologies enable us to set new industry standards in anti-aging with real solutions that exhibit demonstrable results rather than rely on testimonials for evidence we rely on scientific literature and scientific studies. And that is all they have on the website that describes their science. So if you want my opinion, I think everyone should stay far away from New Skin Enterprises. They are a pyramid scheme. So everybody, I hope that you enjoyed my deep dive into new skin. If you would like me to look into them any further, please let me know down in the comments down below. Links will be in the description. But again, yeah, stay away from this company. I would say they're a pyramid scheme. So yeah. Anyway, please do give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, make sure that you come and follow me on social media, again, links are in the description down below, and no matter where you are or what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous day, have an amazing weekend, and I will see you in the next one. I might have a special one for you coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Take care. Bye.